Focus. 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 Focus! Oh my god. I'm... What do I gotta do? There we go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott Squirrel here. Sorry that I didn't have a video last week. Um, I was kind of suffering from post-concert depression and also loss of voice. <clears throat> Back though, and it is a little, it's still a little scratchy, but I'm able to sing, I'm able to talk, so we're all good. Part of the reason why I'm doing this video is to inform you guys more about the Squirrel of the Year contest if you're competing, and I also want to give you some insight about how the squirrel started because during this contest we are going to have a little quiz about um, how the squirrels got started and hopefully you listen to the story and you really like it and then we'll get on to our man candy Monday so you're not competing in the contest it is completely um, unnecessary for you to answer any questions that do any of the quizzes that we might have because if you're not qualified to be even competing you know granted we appreciate your answer it's not counting for anything the reason why we want people actually competing for it is because in a way it is a competition it's not just one of those things where we just pick someone at random and say hey you're gonna be scroll of the year because you've done an awesome job blah 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 like we want you guys to um, have fun while you're competing and you know be able to rack up the points um, also We've decided that you're only allowed to miss one question, and by that we don't mean like by the wrong answer, but we mean like um, you're able to skip just one question without penalty. But if you miss any more than one, um, we will disqualify you from the competition, right? So each question gets 48 hours. You have 48 hours to answer these questions, and hopefully that's plenty of time. We've kind of come to the conclusion it might be better to do it during the week rather than on the weekends. Um, but how about you guys let us know what is the best time for you? Um, we're also going to start putting these questions on our Facebook page. Um, and if you follow us on Facebook or like us on Facebook, that is a way that you can like direct yourself back to something. That way you have something to look at. We don't really tweet much on the account anyway, and we're going to be posting the question a few more times, uh, every single, or the two days that it's up. So, you know, if anything, just redirect yourself to the Twitter page and make sure you haven't missed anything because we're going to be doing them almost like every two days. The competition is going to be ongoing until we reach 1,000 followers. So there's no telling how long this competition is going to go on for. And we might even reopen the entry slot um, for those of you who did miss. And so that way we have a little bit more comp competitors because I've noticed some people aren't really taking the competition that seriously. Um, but majority is, so. This is pretty much it, but we're really, really excited that this is even happening for us. We're already at like 630 followers. So we really, really, really appreciate you guys and just keep promoing with for us. You know, that's part of your rules and, um, you know, just be an active participant and you, who knows, you might be Squirrel of the Year. All right, so now let's get on to the Squirrel story. So if you haven't been to our Tumblr page, um, there's a story on there of how the squirrels became about. Let's have a little story time. Once upon a time, there was a group of six squirrels that went hunting for acorns. One of the squirrels got a little courageous and decided and accidentally um, fell into the water of Fiji. The squirrel was about to drown, so all the other squirrels decided to jump in and try and rescue him. Little did they realize they were about to drown too. Along came three guys. And in order to lure them in, Mama Acorn, a.k.a. Alex, helped grab acorns in order to feed the squirrels and revive them. And father, or who the adopted father, Scott Hoying, picked each one up one by one and put them on his little kayak thingy. Thus, we have the squirrel family. So it's really, really that simple. Um, Mitch also helped by, you know, just playing the mommy role in the whole situation. So there you have it. I mean, it's really that simple, you guys. So as long as you can restore that information into your little brains, you might get 100 on the quiz. All right, so let's get on to our MCMs. So our next Man Candy Monday, I'm really excited to say this one. This week's Man Candy Monday is Ben. Wait, hold on a second. I just remembered. Take a look at this picture. 
so sure I'm happy with Tori Kelly leaning on my man candy Monday like that. Just kidding, you guys. Okay, so with that being said, I'll show you a better picture of him. But this week's Man Candy Monday goes to Ben Lusher of Third Story. Oh gosh, you guys, I saw them in concert when I went to go see Tori Kelly and what is so funny is that his voice is really, really attracted me to him. If you don't know who Third Story is, please go and look them up. Um, they are incredible. They are so incredible and I, I cannot stress enough how great they are. And if you're listening closely to the music that's playing right now, it's them singing Style by Taylor Swift. When we go crashing down, we come back every time, we'll never go. So anyways, thanks guys so much for watching. Hopefully some of this information actually helped you out with the competition. If you have any more questions, feel free to tweet us, message us on Facebook, message us on Tumblr, or, you know, our personals are there too. You can always message me or any of the other scrolls um, if you have any questions. We would, And I guess I'll see you next week. Bye! This week's Man Candy Monday, Man Candy Monday, oh, crap. This week's Man Candy Monday,